Shalom, all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yasha, double honor to the Apostle GMS. My name is Amnawa Allah, coming at you with another lesson. And I want to focus on the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 3. And I'm going to get right into it. It says, Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 3. Sorrow is better than laughter. Right, sorrow is better than laughter. Why was sorrow? But I'm going to read the whole scripture before I break it down. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. So why would sorrow be made better than laughter? Because it says by the sadness of the countenance, meaning the sadness of the face, the heart is made better. Because when you laugh, you know you're feeling happy, you're feeling joyful. But the difference between sorrow, not that there's anything wrong with that, but the difference between sorrow and laughter is that through the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Because when you're going through sadness, when you're going through sorrow, your heart is made better, meaning your mind is made better because you're being refined. You're going through grief. You're going through distress. You're going through despair. You're going through trouble. But at the end of it all, you come out of it. You become refined. I'm going to go through that again. Read it again. Sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. So the, cadence, the sadness of the countenance, meaning the sadness of the face, the heart, meaning the mind, is made better. Because when you're going through sadness, you're going through grief, despair, trouble, anguish, anguish, excuse me, and distress. And eventually you come out of that. You come out of it. And when you come out of it, you grow what? You grow greater. The, the heart, meaning the mind, is made better because you're being refined through that sadness. When you go to that word refined, it says um, refined with impurities or unwanted elements having been removed by processing. So those, impur those impurities or them unwanted elements in your mind have been removed by processing through the process of sadness, through the process of grief. All of those unwanted elements, all of those impurities have been removed. So any trouble you was going through in your mind, you're sad about it, but those troubles eventually become removed. Those troubles or those impurities, that distress or, or grief, which are impurities and unwanted elements, they eventually become removed through that process of sadness and what eventually occurs. Developed or imp or improve so as to be precise or subtle. So then, eventually, when those impurities or unwanted elements are removed through the process of, of sadness, your heart is made better. Meaning, your mind is made better because now it's out of your mind. Now you've developed or improved to be more precise. See that? See? That's the depth of the scriptures, man. I'm gonna go to that word precise real quick. Precise, marked by exactness and accuracy of expression or detail. See that? To be exact, to be accurate. And to be accurate means what? To be correct. Okay? So it makes you greater, it makes you better. Whenever something is correct, it's right, right? It's better, right? Something that's correct is better than something that's incorrect. And when something is correct, it's more genuine, it's more true. It is true and it's genuine. Subtle, so delicate or precise as to be difficult to analyze or describe. So, see, Deli delicately complex and understated. understated. Um, <coughs> that's something else, different definition here. Making use of clever and indirect methods to achieve something. So it makes you more, it makes you more knowledgeable, okay? Because when someone is subtle, they're wise. They know not to um, say certain things and act in certain manners. They're more subtle, okay? So I'm going to go back. So when those unwanted um so when those unwanted elements and periods are removed through the process of sadness, you develop to be more improved, meaning to be more precise, meaning more accurate, to be more uh to be more sub subtle, meaning more clever, more wise. Okay? Because a person who's wise is clever, they have understanding. They understand things better. They have greater discernment. Okay. And to have discernment, let's go over discernment real quick. Uh The ability to judge well. You have a greater ability to judge well. So your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding has increased. Once those unwanted elements and periods are removed from your mind through the process of sadness, you develop into a more precise and subtle mind state. Now your discernment is greater. Your ability to judge well is greater. Because you went through the sadness. You went through what caused that grief anyway. Whatever caused that grief was something that you wasn't able to judge well with from the beginning. So now you've become greater. 
your knowledge is becoming greater. Your wisdom knowledge understanding. Now let's go to the book of um, Isaiah 48 and 10. There's a precept for that scripture in Ecclesiastes 7 and 3. Isaiah 48 and 10. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. So when something is refined, once again, those impurities and unwanted elements are removed. Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee through the furnace of affliction. Right. I have chosen thee through the furnace of affliction. So when you're being refined, you're being refined through affliction. Go to that word affliction real quick. The word there is anya. And it says affliction, poverty, misery, affliction, poverty. So you're going through that affliction. Depression, misery, afflicted, trouble. So he chose you through the furnace of affliction or through that furnace of, of sadness, that furnace of depression, that furnace of um, misery. Which what? Causes sadness. You understand now? So sorrow is better than laughter. For by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. The sadness of the face, the heart, meaning the mind, is made better. It's made better because you're becoming refined. Those unwanted elements and impurities are being removed through the process of sadness, and you're developing into a more precise and subtle person. It makes you more precise and more subtle. It makes you more accurate. It makes you more clever, more knowledgeable, more understanding. Okay, it allows you to be able to judge better. You went through the sadness, so you understood those mistakes. Now those unwanted impurities and um, elements are being removed, so now you're that much greater in your mind state. Okay? And spiritually, mentally and spiritually, as well as that can result into your physical body as well, because everything starts with your spirit anyway. So you know with that, all we brothers learn something, and I'm going to say shalom.